Mark, we've seen a lot of voices emerge over this movement in the last few weeks. And right now, I'm just stepping out of the way. One of those voices you heard earlier in the show, her name is Renee White, and we've got a small gathering outside of City Hall, and she's just talking to the people, telling them the importance of voting, and she's also encouraging them to grow better relationships with the community, grow better relationships with the police, and that is what she's doing right now. But I also spoke with some other leaders, organizers earlier today, the NAACP, Occupy Spokane, they said we want to make sure things remain peaceful. And as you can see, things are peaceful out here. Although council members aren't physically gathered in the building for their weekly meeting, they do hold a virtual briefing that allows the public to listen and see what's on the agenda. Organizers are taking advantage of that access. So far, they've touched base with many of the city leaders, and they've been greeted with open minds that are willing to engage in conversations about what some of their demands are. Although they like what they hear, they told me now isn't the time to step off of the gas pedal. They're going to continue using their voices for as long as they feel it's necessary. That includes a push using excess funding that may be going into law enforcement and switching those funds to mental health services and better relationships with the community. They believe that'll lead to, be, to, that'll lead to better interactions with the public and police officers. Some of the conversations have been good. You know, hey, we understand. Hey, we're, we're concerned. Hey, we're with you. Right. And, and 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 love that. And we've heard it before. Right. So what we're what we're saying now is that, hey, do you understand? Do you hear us that we mean it? And how do we reallocate those funds into a peace force where police, peace officers are getting the training they need within mental health services to really help their community and not con continually contribute to the war on the poor uh, and uh, overcrowded jails? So there isn't any official protest tonight, but I did have a conversation with Occupy Spokane and they told me they may have one tomorrow. So they may come out here and begin to march again. As you can see right now, though, at the city hall, there's several people gathered here. Renee, I spoke with her before we went on air and after listening to that public forum, she says they're relaxing tonight, nothing major, but they're gonna be out here and just continue using their voices. She's talked to a couple of people who have left out of the building and just try to interact with them and have you know friendly conversations. What she's doing right now is making sure that these people who are meeting with her get engaged in the community. Live from downtown Spokane, Brandon Jones, Crim2 News.